so it was the issue like we didn't properly loaded this map map loading javascript files let's uh, let's, let's go to the information that we have it like that way <clears throat> so what we have it like uh, recap again so we have some really extra this is our html page that's what's clear so we have some we all the data that we need that we have we define here some some uh, geojson dataset dot javascript so this is our data that we define we try to visualize the information so it's a poise data it has a road network data it has a plan for development data it has some uh, plots data it has a geo geojson io data that we already defined in the from the from the from the geojson files the previous example that i have it and it has a plot information into the geo server data so this is all the data we try to visualize into the our web page and this is the most important one that's with the second one the mapping loading javascript file this is that's i said this is really completely independent file to store and to, to pick up so this is the javascript function javascript files it has a maps and it has a lb map definition it has a center of the coordinates points it has a zoom in zoom out 14 zoom level and maximum zoom level and 25 that's it this is this part is already clear those but those who do have no experience about the uh, leaflet how can you get the leaflet maps and open street maps and then just look for the google it or look for my previous screencast and you can get really clear idea of what i mean how can you do this one so i have very simple map object map identifier the maps as a as id as a as a attribute id node id and then you have the some cluster information development cluster and then it has a marker information and it's showing the map pop-up so it's the pop-up you see the development pattern in javascript in year 2020 that's the pop-up is showing here you see the pop-up is showing javascript pattern in maps that means your maps and the pop-up is coming uh, coming from other one javascript files this is the files that i'm talking about this is simply load the open street maps it set the center of the maps it has a zoom and zoom out maximum zoom out functionalities and it has some javascript functions on or for on each on on each feature functions is a features as a as input and layers as input and then it has a, some pop-up content you see the pop-up content informations you can put it like uh, it's most strong when you give it like the name of the pop-up content you need to be put it like exactly the same name into html page that i show you you have a functions it has a functions if conditions check and the properties that's we are talking about the properties from uh, that's we will talk about properties means this is the properties and the properties has some attribute and then this is the attribute that i said the properties you see the properties like you see that this is the properties and it has pop-up attributes it's pop-up attributes uh, contain the one only and one attribute maybe you have more comma separated more attribute doesn't matter how many attributes you need depending on the so only map loading functions load the maps and then look for the how many features how many layers it had i mean the layers means if you go to the layers like points polygons or, or, or rectangulars or other players or road networks doesn't matter how many features how many layers you have if you have one one feature collections one many more layers it doesn't matter how many features how many more feature collections that you need or you have it it's free it's depending how you structure it your data your geospatial data so let's let's go back again so we have functions like on feature selections it has the feature properties and check it and the feature to consist content is not null and then it's add the pop-up and then add layer pop-up into the bind pop-up into with the with the pop-up content information that we already checked or already manually put or you can get from this information from the clients or from your database which attributes that's, that's the information that we need that's i already show you how can you use server export you see the the properties informations here total and property information you see the plot id is a one property information 
for plot name is another property information you have many more property information for for simplicity it's a simple example case we just put like one uh, pop-up content informations and then one properties information that's enough just give it to you idea you can more do more what you like to do or how, how the you you describe your for properties or how you describe your p features that's i mean the, how can you handle this so you, you have a really very simple function javascript function that's i said those who have no experience about javascript you can do, go to my channels and then this is the very beginning javascript and javascript framework um, uh, screencast you can go this way and then you have a json this is the most important part that i am i am talking about so we have pois it's a l json functions and then the, the class of functions it has you will add it how many features or how many how many uh, uh poise you poise data is coming from here this is the poise data exactly this is all the information that you have so it has uh, poise uh, point of interest is one two three and i think so four five poise it has two poise has additional informations like the styling how can change the colors and then you see the colors of the information that i already show you some 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 poise you have the red colors you see these points has the red colors and more diameters and then it has some it has this point has a green and it has a more less diameters and then the polygon has the red colors and the border is different colors and this i means the the styling so each of the features you can style itself or you can take the generic styling for for each features or generic styling for each object object type of geometry maybe one red color for points or or lines or maybe many blue colors and then maybe the plots or buildings or other geometry other polygons maybe other maybe 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 black colors depending how you style it how you cartography change sense works but i will just give it to you concept you can put it individuals features you can style it and even though we can global settings the 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 features that you need to 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 style it depending how you design it but you got the idea of what i mean so you have polygons this polygon has no information about the features when that means when I, you click it like points it has no additional information at all so so it says the polygons for uh, uh, line string and uh, then it has no information at all if it's if, if i say i can put it like this like this this one so let's say line number uh, network information features properties it is a line one and then let's say it has give it to the uh, i am i am house a road a road number number zero 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 so zero zero one so let's let let's put uh, let's put another i don't know so let's put the call content for for road for two and then properties for here for for three so if i refresh again just like impression how it works so if i go to the so if i click and so you have a road that's i have so it is it is not what we expected uh, maybe this is the object we will track it line string so it's still not but it is function is working what type of features it is the line string object and i don't know okay this is the working polygon one okay so maybe we can we check again what's happening uh, this is we can rightly plot it uh, apartment house number two and then pop up uh, this is the 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 developments uh, this is the polygons and the line string uh, coordinates points and properties it has a uh, what's the properties house number that's the polygon geometry 
and this is as a polygon apartment 2 and line string properties uh, I believe just like to check it why not it is not working 